I'm Jonathan Robinson, and this is Fred Buzz. Hello again. Welcome back to the Fret Buzz. Uh, if you've never tuned in to the Fret Buzz before, it's the show we put out every week where I comb through YouTube, find the best guitar content, the best music content, and bring it to you so that you don't have to spend hours looking for cool things to watch. Um, this week, though, is a little bit of a special edition of the Fret Buzz. We've not done one quite like this before. Um, I'm going to change things up. This is going to be the Fret Buzz Nashville edition, uh, and it is inspired by the fact that I had the amazing honor of playing at the Ryman in Nashville last week, which was an absolute bucket list experience for me. Pretty much uh, a dream stage to play on. If you don't know about the Ryman, look it up. It is called the Mother Church of Country Music. It used to be the home of the Grand Ole Opry. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, for those of you that watch the Casino Channel, you might know that I spent some time in Nashville both playing and I'm working for Gibson and a little while for the Guitar Center there. Um, but yeah, I spent quite a few years there playing on Broadway, um, touring for different country artists and other, other various artists. Um, and I loved it, man. I still, still miss it sometimes, still get to go out there a fair amount. Um, but last week I got to play with my friend Robbie Cummings at the Ryman Auditorium for a pretty, pretty awesome event called Pure River at the Ryman. It was streaming. We actually put out a video about that at Casino, about what it was like to play the Ryman um, during all the shutdowns and the, the crazy stuff going on with live music right now. So check that out. It's there. It's a cool inside look into that. Um, but in honor of that, in honor of getting to play at the Ryman and, and getting to hang out in Nashville and see some of my buddies, I'm going to do a total Nashville edition of the Fret Buzz where all of the videos that I give you today, instead of them being my favorites, uh, just, just in all of sort of guitardom from the last week, they're going to be some of my favorite Nashville players and Nashville related videos. Um, I'm actually going to do more than five. I normally do five. I think we've got seven or eight for today. So some extra videos and then the jam track as well will be Nashville themed. So. With all that said, let's jump right into the videos. The very first one is a recent video. It's actually put out by Gibson TV. Gibson is in Nashville, uh, the, at least the, the factory that makes all of their electric guitars at this point. Um, and this one is called The Collection, Joe Bonamassa, Nerdville East. So Joe Bonamassa, if you don't know who Joe Bonamassa is, check him out. Probably one of the greatest sort of blues rock players going today. He's a fantastic player. Causes a little controversy. Some people tend to almost think he's too perfect. I just think he's phenomenal. Um, but he is definitely a gear nerd. He loves guitars. He loves vintage guitars. He is probably as knowledgeable about vintage gear as he is uh, a fantastic player. Um, so he has a huge collection. In fact, sometimes I think people poke fun that, that Joe is not leaving vintage gear for the rest of us. But there's plenty of it still out there. Uh, so anyways... This is a, a, a sort of a walkthrough of Joe, what he calls it, Nerdville uh, in, in Nashville, um, and all the cool guitars he has there. You get to see some cool old Les Pauls. They talk about sort of the first time that Joe uh, got to have his hands on, on, you know, like real legit Les Paul bursts, uh, what he thinks the magic in those is. Plays through some of his collection. You get to see his place with, with all the amps, all the cool guitars. Um, like I said, it's on Gibson TV, and it's just it's just pretty pretty fantastic. So it's a long video, super entertaining, great guitar playing, worth watching. Um, it's Gibson TV, the collection, Joe Bonamassa, Joe Bonamassa, Nerdville East. Check that one out. Uh, that's number one. Video number two. It's one that's been a favorite of mine for a long time, and it's actually Brent Mason and Vince Gill, along with some other actually pretty pretty darn fantastic players. Um, it's called Don't Try This at Home. I got this one from a channel. It's Ryan Sanders. Um, it's just, it's Brent Mason and it's, it's uh, Vince Gill and just some Nashville cats, as they, they may be called, uh, just destroying some instrumental stuff. You get to see Brent Mason sort of doing what he does best, the sort of hot chicken picking stuff that you hear all over all the 90s country records, whether it's Alan Jackson or, or whoever. Um, if you don't know who Brent Mason is, he's probably, God, he's got to be the top, like, three or four most recorded guitar players ever. Super session player in Nashville. Um, probably a household, well, definitely a household name amongst country pickers. Um, just a really cool style. Amazing country player. He's tearing it up, doing some, like, barn burning kind of stuff that is just absolutely ridiculous. 
And then it goes into Vince Gill, his parts, they, which, which he's no slouch uh, of a chicken picker either. But in this particular video, they sort of transition when it's his parts to play and it's more this like slow blues and he's playing just some ridiculously soulful, tasteful licks with a tone that is just godly. I mean, it is amazing. It is to die for. So the two of them together with all the musicians who are playing with them, absolutely phenomenal. Um, so Brent Mason and Vince Gill, don't try this at home. Ryan Sanders, that's video number two. Like I said, it's been a long time favorite, so check that out. Uh, number three, and this one actually is, is sort of motivated by the fact that uh, Mr. Ricky Skaggs was sort of one of the sponsors at the event that I played uh, at the Ryman, the Pure River thing. He was one of the main, main spokes uh, people for it um, and also performed um, and spoke a lot. And I, I realized a lot of people, you know, I was talking to, to, to Sean, who rode with me, not super aware of Ricky Skaggs. Like, he'd heard the name, never really seen him play. But if you've never really seen Ricky Skaggs play, you owe it to yourself to watch him play mandolin and guitar because he is fantastic at both. He is also just a pretty darn amazing vocalist. Um, so the thing I'm going to put up next, it's Ricky Skaggs and Albert Lee on American Music Shop. Uh, it's on the original Formula Music channel. This is a whole show of Ricky Skaggs and Albert Lee um, in, in concert. American Music Shop was a show back in the day on TNN, which is the Nashville network. So they used to put out the American Music Shop every week. I don't think it ran for very long. It was a different country artist every episode. Um, but being in Nashville, there's always an amazing backing band. Uh, there, there's always amazing talent. And you, you, just, you just don't, I don't know that you hear performances like this, they're so good, they're so right on, the players are phenomenal, the arrangements are amazing, all the musicians and all the, all the parts are just so tight, fantastic. Albert Lee, probably one of the greatest telly players ever. He is obviously not, uh, you know, from Nashville, he's, he's British, but picked up that sort of country guitar really early um, and played for folks like Emmylou Harris, the Everly Brothers, uh, he did a ton of stuff with Clapton. He's got his own own stuff. Uh, but so he and Ricky are a pretty fiery combination. And watching them go back and forth is, is, is awesome. So full show, Ricky Skaggs, Albert Lee on American Music Shop. And again, it's original formula music. Uh, so check that out. That is video number three. Sorry I'm flying through these, but like I said, I put extra videos in this week. So to get through them, we're going we're gonna to keep moving quick. Uh, number four, channel I love. Um, another, another British guy, Wings of Pegasus. If you've never watched Wings of Pegasus, he does all these reaction videos where he sort of watches a great guitar player um, and occasionally different things, different vocalists or whatever, but usually guitar players. And he sort of breaks down all the things that they're doing that are, that are amazing. He just sort of analyzes it sort of frame by frame, which is, is cool because he, he actually points out some things that I think a lot of people would not necessarily think about when they're watching someone play the guitar or someone sing, especially if you are not a guitar player, not a vocalist, um, it's, it's neat to have someone like this who, who is a pretty darn accomplished uh, player himself point out things to, to look for, things that are, that, are, that are tricky. Sometimes these guys that we're watching, they're so good at what they do, you don't realize that, man, that was like impossible to pull off, especially live. So having somebody point that stuff out, talk about it, why it's so impressive, pretty cool. But anyways, on this one, he's actually breaking down uh, Johnny Highland. And if you don't know who Johnny Highland is, he is a monster of a country picker. Um, big session guy in Nashville. Johnny, I've actually met him a handful of times. Such a cool dude, one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. Johnny is legally blind, so it's kind of even more impressive that he plays the way he does. Um, you can actually find him uh, in downtown Nashville doing shows, um, sometimes or early shows, like these little little places like Layla's uh, on, on Lower Broadway, if you know where that is. Uh, in fact, I used to go down and, and watch him um, every time I'd get the chance. And just amazing to see him pull off some of the things he pulls off that close in a, in a small club with you know 50 people um, but he like I said he does a ton of session work um, he's he's pretty much known as one of the best sort of sort of chicken pickers out there um, and the name of the video is British guitarist analyzes Johnny Highland's immense technical versatility one of the crazy things about Johnny Highland and about Nashville players that I found um, in particular 
is that not only are they great at what they do, most of them are great at everything. They can play jazz, they can play western swing, they can play rock, they can shred. They're, they're great blues guys. And, and, you know, a lot of them have sort of that Nashville sort of stamp on what they do. Um, but man, they're just, they're just fantastic. It's hard to find things these guys aren't good at. That's why they're playing on these sessions. That's why they're on all these records. Uh, that's why Nashville has the reputation that it has. Guys like Johnny Hyland and Brent Mason, who we talked about, and Albert Lee and Vince Gill and Tom Bukovec, and the list goes on and on and on and on. Um, but anyways, check this out. Uh, British guitar, British guitarist analyzes Johnny Highland's immense technical versatility. It's actually a slow blues that Johnny Highland is playing in this video, which I think is neat because maybe you don't see this as much as the blazing country stuff. But but the things that he's able to do, the level that he's able to play, uh, even even this blues thing, and then put his own stamp on it in places, pretty darn amazing. Maybe this takes you down the rabbit hole and you watch a ton of Johnny Holland videos if you've never watched any before. Um, at least I hope that's what happens. And if you are anything like me, you will love it. Um, so check that out, Wings of Pegasus, Johnny Holland. Uh, number five, this is a bit of a two for one. Uh, if you spend any time playing in Nashville, and it's, this has spread a ton now, it's pretty, pretty widely used and known, uh, you have heard of the Nashville number system. Uh, and that's just a way to call out chord progressions and, and pieces of music, whether you're in the studio um, and it's a song that you're about to play on that you don't know, that you've never heard, that you're creating, or whether you're playing on a worship team or playing in a honky-tonk down on lower Broadway. If you, you know, get a request for a tune and you need to know it, a lot of times people are going to, well, not a lot of times, all, pretty much virtually all of the time, people are going to call numbers. They're using the Nashville number system. It is a way to understand music and theory that sort of makes uh, it simple to transpose, makes it simple to know the, the basic chord progression of a song with all the rhythm stuff. Um, obviously, there's a bit to it. I'm not going to go into it here, but there is a fantastic video for guitar tricks that is called the Nashville Number System Explained, where he just takes you through it. He shows you, you know, how it's notated, what it looks like, what it all means, putting it in the context of theory. I'm also gonna post a link to one of our videos. I actually did a video, gosh, it's been a while, um, maybe even a couple of years. I don't know how old this video is, but I have to look, but uh, we, we lost power one day, so Derek and I took uh, one of the battery-powered lights and a camera up to the front of the shop, and I did a video explaining and talking about the national number system with a chalkboard. Um, so, you know, I used to use it all the time in live situations and doing sort of demo sessions and things like that. I think once you start thinking in numbers and you start thinking in that national number system, it's, it's hard to go back, and, and for good reason. It's a great system, so check it out if you're interested at all in the Nashville Number System. Both these videos, Guitar Tricks, Nashville Number System Explained, and the Casino Guitars, uh, the Nashville Number System Explained. I guess there's not many ways to title that video. <laughs> they're, they're basically the same. But I'll put both those links up. Um, let me know what you think of those, and if you use the Nashville Number System, or what you think of it. I would love to actually hear your opinions on that in the comments. Like, how many of you use Nashville Numbers if you feel like you really understand it, um, it's, it's pretty simple when you get the hang of it. So, but anyways, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Number six, uh, Michael Palmasano. I think I have featured him on the channel before. He does some great sort of reaction videos where he sort of teaches songs in real time, where he's reacting to them. He hasn't learned the song beforehand. You're just kind of seeing how his brain works um, when he's talking through what, what great guitar players are doing. He did a lot with different jam bands. Um, he's done a lot with all different styles that I've seen. I always enjoy his videos. Um, I always enjoy how talented he is and what a good ear he has when he picks up things and, and sees what different players are doing pretty right away. And he doesn't always nail it 100%, but you, you get an idea of the thought process of what's going on, and it's really useful, especially if you're trying to like transcribe uh, songs by ears and learn songs by ear. I think it's a really helpful channel. Um, but on this particular one, he's doing Keith Urban, Stupid Boy. Uh, if you don't know much about Keith Urban, if you've just seen him and how pretty he is and, you know, that he's a pop sort of country singer, you need to watch this dude play guitar. He is fantastic. There's all sorts of videos with him sort of uh, ripping it up with John Mayer. They're doing a Beatles cover. They did a CMT Crossroads. Um, lots of videos where, where they're, they're sort of doing the thing. And if you don't know, you see, wow, Keith Urban is an absolute beast. He's a great chicken picker. He can do the country stuff. Um, 
there's actually an old video of him, I think, before he was sort of the Keith Urban that we know now. It might have even been, I don't know if it was before or after his days in The Ranch, which was a country band in Nashville. Um, but anyways, he's somewhere and he's doing this medley of all these sort of classic songs and he ends up doing a, a guitar version of The Devil Went Down to Georgia where he's playing all the, the guitar parts. Pretty fantastic. He's fantastic. This video is fantastic. This is a great song if you don't know it. And his guitar tone and the playing that he does while he's singing is kind of unbelievable. Yeah. So that's number six. Number seven, just to put in there, because no Nashville fret buzz would be complete without this guy playing, Brad Paisley. I'm just gonna put a link to Brad Paisley early on, years ago, with his band doing one of his instrumental tunes called Nervous Breakdown Live. Nothing really needs to be said about it except that he is Brad Paisley, probably one of the most important modern country players there is, if not the most important. I think he energized a lot of people um, got him excited about that style again, and and the things he does are just they're they're almost supernatural. The way he, that dude plays a Telecaster, obviously you could tell that I am a fan of both both Paisley and and Keith Urban, and the country guitar players in general. Um, I actually wish I was better at that style. I probably need to go practice. Um, that's what I'll do when I get done with this video. I'll go practice my my country licks. Um, but that's seven videos, really eight if you count the fact that I'm going to throw in irs about the number system. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know how many of you guys are country music uh, sort of fans. Do you, do you dig the style? I know a lot of people, even though if they, if they don't listen to country music or maybe they don't listen to the stuff on the radio, they still love that sort of chicken picking style. Super fun to get into. Super different if you've only ever played sort of blues and rock. Um, hopefully this opens the door to you. And again, I hope you enjoyed our special edition of the Fret Buzz. There is a jam along track for the week and keeping in our sort of the spirit of our Nashville edition of Fret Buzz, I'm doing one from Jam Along Tracks. It's an A major track. It's Danny Gatton, uh, country guitar jam. It's just a good old sort of country blues basically that's uh, pretty speedy. Let you do all those, those uh, the chicken picking kind of country licks. I will put up my version of it. I've already done it and put it out on Instagram, my Facebook page, and YouTube. So I'll post that link. Remember, if you do a take, uh, don't forget to hashtag the Fret Buzz, Casino Guitars, and Jonathan Robinson Music. We have reposted a few in our Instagram stories. Um, sooner or later, I may actually post some links to ones on YouTube, or who knows, eventually if I find one that really blows my mind, maybe we'll send you guys a shirt or something. Um, but we would love to see your takes on the Fret Buzz Jam Track of the week. Uh, I think that's about it. Don't forget, if you are a bearded guitar player or know someone who is, go to thebeardstruggle.com. Use my discount code for 15% off. It's JRMusic15. Hope you have a great week. Please hit like and subscribe. Hit the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. We have a ton of content coming out. Lots of new guitars coming uh, that we demo. So you don't want to miss that stuff. Thanks again for watching the Fret Buzz Nashville edition. I will see you next time.